Welcome to the Art of Dispute. I am your host, Joe Orsak. And I'm your co-host, Chris Minemeyer. And we agree on pretty much absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> America, you are about to witness three total strangers, a musician, an artist, and a business professional. We brought them together to talk about a really hard subject that they had no clue what it was before they got here. All in the hopes that we can teach you, America, that we can discuss the most controversial topics without being jerks to each other. Imagine that! So stick around, watch the fireworks, because we're about to go live! Welcome to the Art of Dispute! The only show where you can be friended and offended, all in the same hour. <laughs> you're like hanging out, you're watching, you're like, man, these guys are making some good points. I hate that person. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a good time. We've got a fun subject lined up for you guys. Uh, you may want to exit the little kids from the room. I don't know. The sand could get racy. <laughs> We're talking about pornography and whether it is demeaning or empowering to women. That's going to be a juicy topic. Uh, yeah. But before we go there, we have got to make sure we introduce our guest. And we've got this whole concept that we want to explain what we're up to on the show. We've got a problem in America. Y'all have all experienced it. If you've been on social media ever, you express your opinion, you post a comment, and boom, it blows up. People go psycho, nuts on you and everything else. We lovingly refer to it as the zero to Nazi effect. That's the length of time it takes to go from... Zero to, you're a Nazi. I will now go outside, set fire to your car, and punch a dog in the face. A prime example of that is when we get the, uh, this this panel can't be talking about that topic. Oh, it's yeah. Not, you know, this the whole other side's not uh, there or not present to, to, to have a say in it. Well, there's not enough that, women. For that I say, you know, we have every viewpoint, but maybe not every demographic. And so, if you don't find your demographic here, you see the viewpoint. If you don't see it, go over to the group and you'll see it there. If it's not there, make sure you put it there. Exactly. It's, it's nothing more annoying for me, and it's a personal pet peeve, honestly. Because it happens when anytime we have a, a, a topic that is specific to women or a topic that's a specific to race or whatever, invariably somebody goes, Well, there's not enough color on this panel, or there's not enough women on this panel. Or, Take your pick. I'm like, You know, we've got three chairs. Don't think we can represent <laughs> all of America in three chairs. And we don't plan it out. We're not calling calling around saying, hey, we're going to talk about this next week on our show. Yes. So, anyway, we're going to have fun. We're going to have a good time with this topic. But I want to make sure we give our guests uh, at, at least the other half of their exorbitant pay package. Mm -hmm. The first half is on the table. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the second half is the shameless plug. So we, we want to introduce you guys, make sure you have an opportunity to let everybody know what y'all are up to and that sort of thing. So first up here is Miss Rachel Winters. Yeah, her business well, slash yeah. artist name, Rachel Winters. I see a pattern there. <laughs> <laughs> and people can find you at rachel.com. And that's R-A-Y-C-H-E-A-L dot com, Rachel dot com, and uh, on YouTube, of course. Yeah, you search my first and last name on YouTube. Okay, right on. So Rachel Winters on YouTube. Uh, one funny thing about you that most people don't know, you and Christopher Walken, I mean, you're right there together. Uh, I think y'all trained in the same school, if I remember seeing that on your resume. She plays oh, a so. mean cowbell. <laughs> I got a favorite. Right. Not, 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 not Christopher Walken. It was uh, he, it Will Ferrell. Christopher Walken was the uh, record producer. Yeah, one more oh, yeah. cowbell. Yeah. yeah. I got a fever. <laughs> the only prescription is more cowbell. Hey, I put my pants on like anybody else, one leg at a time. It's just after I get my pants on, I make old records. <laughs> Y'all haven't classic. seen that SNL skit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, all right, good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's an all-time classic. All right, well, make sure you guys check out her stuff. Uh, up next here, Mr. Alex Wheeler. Yes, sir. Very good to have you on, sir. Uh, sir, uh, your artist name, Lucky Genius. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a joke, actually. Yeah, I was say, it, can what I happened? That? No, no. What happened was, was um, 
Have you heard of the Wu Tang Clan random name gener generator? Uh -uh. So I put my name in, and uh, that's what that's what they, they gave me. Right. It's so. like how Childish Gambino got yeah, his name, so. and um, I think maybe Post Malone. No, Post Malone. So. No, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, I might be wrong. Uh, From the Wu Tang know, the school, name yeah, generator. Just, like, yeah, yeah. Around yeah. putting your name in. I didn't know. Nice. We'll be over there later this evening. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That will totally be. I'll be introducing myself on the next show that way. <laughs> the rest of my life. Yes. <laughs> Uh, one funny thing about you, you're a drummer, and that hilarious. is hilarious, yeah. uh, and you've also been to Ireland three times. Iceland. Iceland. Ice oh, yeah, yeah it's Iceland. Iceland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got a bit of a problem with Irish people, obviously. Mm. Uh, they're going to play something for us later tonight. Yeah. Irish people? No. no. <laughs> yes. We've invited them all here. <laughs> yes, you two are going to rock something out for us at the end of the show. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on. Make sure you guys stick around. We already got a little taste of it. It's pretty sweet. I'm just going to say, rock and song. <laughs> Up next, Chelsea Duncan. Ew. Chelsea Duncan. And you go by Cart. Cart, C A R T. Kind of the name of my uh, artist persona, and that was the name I picked for personal reasons, and I've just kind of stuck with it. Very cool. Does that have anything to do with Mario Kart? No, wow. not Let's at see. all. <laughs> yeah. Do you own a horse? Do I own a horse? Yeah. No, I do not. If you did, you could walk in front of it, and then <laughs> literally you'd be the cart before the horse. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm not ready for those yet. <laughs> I have many years of experience and dad joke humor. So, <laughs> uh, some would say I'm a professional. <laughs> uh, Instagram.com forward slash cart D2794. And that's on the screen somewhere. Slam! Right there. <laughs> yes, and uh, we'll, we'll, I'll throw up a little, if, as long as you send it to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Which has happened by now. <laughs> yes. Mind blown. Kind of stuff there. Get it right. <laughs> It'll be on the screen. I'll put a, I'll put one of your art pieces here on the screen so that people can get a, a, a view of it. Yeah, right on. All right. Well, we're gonna dive into this topic. Fun stuff. Pornography. Is it degrading or is it empowering? Kind of give me your thoughts on it. Kind of a one minute bullet point. What's your take? And we'll just go, go around, around the room. Don't, don't debate, debate each other, other yet. <laughs> we'll save it. We'll, we'll get, get into, into it here. Short. short. Right. Take it away. Well, I assume we're talking, talking about consensual pornography. pornography. Um, I can see either view. Um, you said something earlier about the difference between the porn star and the viewer. So, you know, obviously the porn star, they're... Now, for the, for the viewers... We've talked about this prior to the show, so you'll have to make this point for us again, because it's a great point. Yeah. So, you know, obviously for the porn stars, they're consenting adults. They're saying yes to this, and they're getting paid for it. Um, and from what I understand, most of the time in the industry, it's, you know, they make sure that people are getting tested and or using protection, and, you know, a lot of the women have uh, health care through the companies. So I think it can be empowering, but... I can also see the other side. It, it can, you know, certain genres of pornography can create demand for, um, you know, like the barely legal pornography can create demand for women that look really young to be pornography that could create an issue. So. Okay. Yeah, that's what it's about. All right. Um, well, I'm not a woman. Let me just. I, mean, I know. <laughs> sure. Just, here's my, Wait a let minute. Me just, let me just start off. That's a great question. So take my opinion with a grain of salt. Um, but it's, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the important one is the dichotomy between viewer and worker because, I mean, women in the sex industry, it's been documented that it's actually one of the few uh, professions where they kind of have um, a positive wage gap, like they are the, the higher end of the wage gap. So that's, I mean, that's, that's good, you know, for them, so, and they can obviously demand certain things. I think men step up your game. There's a little inequality going on here. <laughs> right, but uh, yeah, it's uh, so that's good. But the the whole thing with the attitudes that that pornography can like you know perpetuate. Like I think I was reading somewhere like almost half of the people who watch pornography are like in the like ten to seventeen 
year old range. Like it's really young people, the young men watching this stuff, and that can like, you know, solidify some really bad, you know, impulses or, or desires in that group. So which can then, you know, like through that will make it eventually unfair to, to women in the long run because it's making, you know, men more likely to want these like demeaning, degrading things or just like yeah, or like and, and just completely ridiculous expectations, you know. So hmm. I think it's 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 a tough question. Hmm. Right. Indeed, is a it's a very mind-boggling question because once again, you know, you have viewer versus um, participant, right? And uh, for the participant, for the women, I guess it can be empowering because you know they are making the choice to do this for a career and for money. But another thing also is is it's is it um, influencing uh, younger women to get more involved into doing this because it's easy money or whatever. So. Um, uh, it can be good for women who are old enough to consent and decide what they are okay with and set their own boundaries. Uh, for, but you know, for younger women, instead of deciding, hey, I want to go to college and I want to get a degree, they'll possibly go and do something much easier, you know, to get. Well, that's getting screwed in a different kind of way. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I do believe it is empowering for women who are able to make that choice and to say, hey, this is what I want to do. I am okay with, with this for my body. So, um, so I have a question. Me too, Vanessa. Yes, okay. Yeah. Um, we've almost had like a separation uh, between the worker and how they feel empowered and the, the viewer. For women who aren't necessarily viewers or participating or whatever else, but because of how women are, as, as you've mentioned, uh, uh, objectified or how they're viewed by the viewers, do you think that impacts how other women who aren't participating or who aren't watching or whatever else, just they're living in life, but now they have to deal with the viewer? Uh, yeah. And do, is that empowering or, or degrading as an impact to those people? Ooh, that was a good question. I wonder what they're going to say. I'll stick around and find out. We'll be right back. Do you have a sick roof? Well, DR Roofing Services can help. We will examine your roof, diagnose the problem, and prescribe a solution. Does your home need a facelift? DR Roofing Services offers a variety of general contracting services to get your home happy and healthy again. Honest, reliable, and trustworthy. DR Roofing Services. We make house calls. and how they feel empowered and the, the viewer. For women who aren't necessarily viewers or participating or whatever else, but because of how women are, as, as you've mentioned, uh, uh, objectified or how they're viewed by the viewers, do you think that impacts how other women who aren't participating or who aren't watching or whatever else, just they're living in life, but now they have to deal with the viewer? Uh, yeah. And do, is that empowering or, or degrading as an impact to those people. I, Does that make sense? I yeah. feel like I asked that question horribly. Kind of going off of what he just said about how it can create these very unreal expectations for young men. Yeah, so then, you know, in the future when they have sexual partners, those women are having to deal with the consequences of, you know, yeah, what, the, what these men have made up in their mind as expectations from pornography. from. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Alex? Yeah, that was my point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it, uh, yeah, I mean, well, we also, I guess. So, I mean, like, yeah. almost flipping it, because I, I'm like, on one side you have the guys that's creating unrealistic expectations or whatever of what they want. I have to right? deal with every little girl's fantasy about being a princess from their dad telling them to watch Disney. 
<laughs> little girl? Or? Well, you know, because they're all growing up now and they're not princesses, but uh. as the prince in shining armor, just, you know what I'm saying? They just that, don't meet Prince Charming? Yeah, well, you know, like, so <laughs> I have to deal with the, the prince complex from Disney. It's just the same to me as it is to pornography. Mm. Interesting. Mulan didn't meet a prince. <laughs> Uh, no, not. I'm not saying that. No, all fair enough. But there's the expectation, right? So from my view, yeah, that's those are what animated I would want to movies. Do. If you take that as an expectation, I mean, to each his own, I guess. I but mean, but it does shape our little our generation, some little kids. Yeah. You know? Well, then it's important for their parents to explain to them that's not real. But your, I mean, your your parents aren't going to explain to you that pornography is not. Why your 17 year old boy, your mom's going to be like, hey. My mom definitely. You know that's girls not real. Don't talk like that. You yeah, know. Well, you know, I think that we should talk to our generation about. Porn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so I think that's the answer to it instead of. It's so shunned. Nobody wants to talk about it. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, to be talked about. That's, that's one Nobody, good thing. About everybody it. talked about that's money. Some people get their sex education. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. That's a great point. And uh, a lot of people don't get paid to post pornography. There's whole, like, YouTube level sites where it's home it's free home videos. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're posting them. Because they want to post them. It's, like, it's, I mean, it's yeah. liberating for some people. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, a lot of people it's who had like these sexual hangups when they were young, or like, or who had maybe parents who like just made sex this, you know, something yeah taboo. You can't touch it. It's bad. And then so these people are discovering pornography as a way to like take that out of this, you know, this I mean, I dark place. Have a lot to do with that. I mean, yeah. and censorship and oh yeah, bringing censorship into our homes and saying that we shouldn't show this to our kids and shouldn't show that to our kids. Um, it's also helpful for some people that are struggling with their sexuality. Yeah. You know, I, I know a lot of people have maybe not found themselves through that, but they've realized, okay, I'm not crazy, I'm, I'm not the only one, this isn't wrong. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's, there's, there's a video for it. <laughs> Everyone out there, yeah. right. there's a video for it. I mean, right, there's but it's like, stuff, uh, you know? if you're already yeah. afraid to come out to your parents, like, how are you going to learn about sexual health? You know, if you're homosexual, if right. you're first of all, you're worried about talking about sex with them, and then you don't want to have to explain that you're homosexual. You have to like find that information somewhere, so mm -hmm. that can be a helpful way for people to, you know, not feel so alone, I guess. And that porn has nothing to do with women. <laughs> That's all that is. And actually, that was going to be another thing. We, you know, is why haven't we talking about men in this? And yeah. yeah. There is indeed gay porn. Oh, so yeah. there's gay porn there's, for women and gay porn for men. Yeah. Well, but there's yeah. gay, gay women porn for Although men. Although the women, <laughs> the women, <laughs> women on women <laughs> porn is very misconstrued. Yeah, like girls don't course. have these huge acrylic fingernails. Right. Because wouldn't that be gay porn? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, it's just yeah. I think I went through like three or four points while I was still <laughs> dwelling on one of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and this this topic makes a couple assumptions going into the the discussion one like we've assumed that there was some degree of uh you know it's not forced uh right. you know mm -hmm. etc so uh similarly we were talking generically about the the broadest category uh which is porn that's made for men uh you know and and that's typically a, a woman uh you know mm. being involved with the, a dude yeah. uh so you know I mean, there's I'm, I'm sure there's Every flavor and category imaginable to man, and probably some things. I wonder if there's more solo videos than anything. What do you mean solo videos? Like just one yeah. person on it. One right. person. Ah, because oh. some people are into that lot. rather than at least watching. It's a lot easier video. to make. <laughs> <laughs> the cost down. Yeah, keep yeah. the cost down. Yeah. Yeah. Cost effective. You don't have to coordinate anything. Just, light. just go <laughs> into the bedroom. <laughs> well, here's a uh, um, an interesting little tidbit. Production put up on the screen for me. In 2012, an article was published in International Journal of Sexual Health, and it asked 176 porn act uh, actresses the reasons for their reasons for getting into porn. Uh, and the top four categories: number one uh, of the 176 people, 53 of them said uh, they got into it for the money. Um, the second category, second top, number two pick. Uh, 27 of the women said they got into it for the sex, hmm. and the third was uh, 16 got into it for attention, and uh, that's, that's for self-awareness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and the the fourth was for fun. Hmm. So interesting to me that the sex 
and fun were separated. Seems like if you were, <laughs> right, right. Seems like that. if you were getting into yeah. it for the sex, you would be saying I'm getting into it for the fun. Okay. It'd be the yeah. same. Maybe they're it. addicted to sex. Maybe that's a whole different. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I would, um, I'd rather hear the statistics behind like people posting and like the home the home person the the a amateur semi pro you know what I mean there's more of that than than the pros yeah. for the money so right. <laughs> the, the, the interesting more. thing was and and I believe Steph if you have that quote because uh, I remember it uh, the the second half was their top complaints hmm. uh, about oh. the industry oh. interesting um, and um, so we'll get that up there. Uh, Chris, did you have another question? Because I wanted to ask a question before we had to break, because oh, we're about um, to take a, a hard break here. I don't remember if you did or not. You know, uh, to grading to me it always comes down to the personal thing. So like, I can't tell you what's degrading to you, and you can't tell me what's degrading to me. So um, for me, it's all going to be circumstance each and every time the camera turns on. That's fair. Well, well, uh, I want to I want to leave it to ponder that um, it. it if, um, if the movie or whatever it's called, uh, film. <laughs> if, if the film sets out Sorry. to create a scenario that is inherently degrading in the scenario, whether somebody voluntarily acts out that role or not, yeah. is that... Like what, though? I'll have, to, we'll have I'll to come back. I'll have to think on that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, come back from the break. we'll have to come up with that during the break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Art of Dispute. Did a little break there. Mm. I had to Google some examples of degrading porn. <laughs> no, you didn't. No. That is not something you want to do. I'm just only way is to tell you do that. His favorite research. And I tried to type it in as a like, you know, as a sterile, scientific <laughs> way as possible. That still didn't help. I'm just saying. I'm like, no, that didn't work. Uh, so, but I did find an article and it did give me some ideas, uh, and uh, we're going to have some questions from the article. So, yeah. Uh, so, before the break, I asked the, a question. I said, uh, if women are acting in a role and they're doing this role voluntarily and, and they feel empowered in, in, in acting, yet the role they're portraying is a role wherein the woman is degraded, is that degrading to women? in general. And so then you you asked me this, I thought I had a brilliant question, and then you're like, you know, like what? And I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> the answer to that could differ depending yeah, on yeah. what exactly I think we can all so, imagine okay. something. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, well, I'll give you, at least I, I came up with some, some things after I was searching for the article here. Uh, uh, roles wherein uh, the woman is offered the opportunity to make amends, so to speak. Uh, you know, she gets stopped by a, a police officer. Oh, yeah. uh, the the landlord shows up and she hasn't paid rent, and um, the she's given the Only, offer to. Yeah, the offer. Huh? But, but if it was, you know, she offered it. it, it <laughs> and, and, Are you saying it might confuse young women into thinking that's an appropriate way to deal with? Forgetting to pay your rent, or, or if men oh. think that that they can was it that? Yeah, well, men will still do that. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it, to, to creating a situation where 
uh, it would never be appropriate yeah. in society for that to be to take place. Well, it's not appropriate to have sex in society. So I mean, like all porn wouldn't be appropriate for society. Well, well no, no, I don't. That, I well, think it's societally acceptable to have sex. How else do? Yeah, it? yeah. Okay. I mean, like in public, like to oh, initiate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, not in even. Public, in, in but public. not even in. I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying yeah. saying it's happening in public. I'm saying the oh, landlord okay. shows up and knocks yeah. on the door and says, "Hey, you haven't paid for rent, you know, okay. and uh, I'm kicking you out unless we go inside and you X Y Z me." Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's not appropriate. All right. So, well, is I mean, that not creating a role that's degrading to Well, it depends a woman. on if you think the woman has a societal expectation to like, you know, promote certain whatever. I'm going back to Mulan. It's like, you know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just Mulan saying, didn't need a prince. It, it, like, <laughs> you can extrapolate certain values from like yeah. one single video, but like is the responsibility on that woman making the video to like take like is it her responsibility to consider the ex like the societal ramifications of what she's doing or is can she just <laughs> be personally empowered and like do that, you know, for that's herself. That's like a role-play situation that a lot of people are into. Are these videos not art? Are we going to censor the art? Well, some of them are art. You know, I'm just saying, like, we watch murder what? all day on CSI. I, I, I'm not saying, <laughs> I, I wouldn't ask well, yeah, about the censoring it, I was just asking if it's degrading. Right, yeah. right, right. I mean, I guess essentially, uh, Yes, because <laughs> for if you're looking up degrading porn and it's situations where the woman is being degraded, then essentially yes. But you know, so long as it's so long as the woman is agreeing and consenting and it's uh, it's role playing, then you know, it, she's okay with being degraded. You know, some women like the aggressive, you know, sexual acts. Some that kind of porn. Right, exactly. Oh, yeah. You know, hair pulling and things like that. Yeah. So. Well, I, I guess so. I want to separate. The, the point from saying, are there people that get off on that? Well, yeah, there's definitely people that get oh, yeah. off on that, right? <laughs> right. right? But there's, you know, there's, there's people that, that get off on all sorts of behaviors that aren't healthy, yeah. you know, behaviors to have. There's, you know, I mean, to every extreme. And so, you know, as a general group, uh, you know, of do you want to have societal views of women that it's okay uh, for uh, you know, a policeman or wh whatever, any of these scenarios, uh, the landlord, whatever, where that's an okay mindset to have, it isn't doesn't that lower the value of the woman? Well, maybe it's important to like make sure we're talking about those kinds of things that these are. That this is not reality. I mean, we we're not looking at. Yeah. Like, Zac Efron just played Ted Bundy, and we're not like, oh, he's portraying a murderer. Like, is that bad for society? Like, no. I mean, it's it's it's. Not does it look bad on murderers, or does it look bad on Ted Bundy? <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's degrading. We know that this isn't reality. Yeah. Like, well, that's why I keep going back to the Disney princesses, is, you know. Is, is, I mean, Zac Efron did start on Disney Channel, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think in the role where he's playing the murderer the, that the murderer was glorified. No. But the, the landlord uh, is certainly yeah. in the yeah. position of yeah. power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm. But yes, I do think that it, it, it is a degrading role, but women are okay with playing that degrading role. So, they should be able to do that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and that, again, that goes back to the actor. I'm not, yeah, I'm not making a, I'm not making a call about the actor. I'm talking about how that looks on the, the rest of women kind I in think the think as a body of people. you're stereotyping, and it's almost a, a sexist thing to even consider, I would think. Uh, because you're generalizing at that point. You're taking one person in one video and you're saying the entire gender is now up to scrutiny because of this. And to me, that that just is so far fetched in my in my head. Yeah. yeah Everybody's just, different. Everybody has different opinions. So yeah, you can't stop certain people from taking things the wrong way. <laughs> Someone's gonna. Be well, no. Uh, so so li right. so so yeah. listen. Uh, the, I, I, I I'm, it's being generalized because I'm asking about womankind in general right. being no. lowered. So that you can't get away from... Is there really a womankind in general? <laughs> yeah. Well, every, very, every, very every body that... Body of, of people there. Every body that has the chromosome... Yeah, you're right. uh, yes, that's what I'm speaking point, about. So, yeah, so in other words, landlords are certainly a common thing, right? right? Police are certainly a common thing, right? Yeah. And it's portraying these roles and as... Sex as a yeah. as another means of payment is also a common thing. Yeah, and this is common. But is that better. but is that not degrading? That's the question. I like it's degrading. I, yes, I think people are okay with it. I think the majority of women would be like, "Do you think, girl, if you want to 
make degrading porn for money and get your Again, money. That's, but yeah. that's making making the porn. I'm not talking about making the porn. I'm right. talking about it how that. The question, then. It is degrading to put in the to put out the idea that it is okay to have sex with your landlord to pay off your rent. Yeah. It, it, that, that that's that's that what I'm getting degrading. at. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm getting I mean, at. I don't, yeah. I don't think that it is. Uh, I don't think that it should be considered degrading. I think it should be considered a, something else. You know, so it's like not. Wrong, it's, not how it's, it's a video. It's, it's yeah. art. It's it's something that you know you play it over and over and over. It's never going to change. Um, is this isn't something that we should base? We should generalize. I guess what I'm saying. But the question is kind of phrased in a way that would make would assume that you would generalize from that. But I think that we should take a look at how we generalize people. I think Rachel was right when she said, you know, we need to like talk about it and make it clear that these things are fiction. Mm -hmm. That they're it's okay to have these fantasies, but they should never escalate beyond Just like Disney fantasy. Yeah. yeah. But is there a landlord that has tried? Is there a landlord that has tried? Oh yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. probably one of them. Like, like yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Of course, uh, yeah. course they have it. But did they try because there's a pornography that exists of that subject, or is that just the nature of that person? That's a very good point. So, I Probably both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Cultural if, norm. If a landlord yeah. saw it, like watched a pornography with like a landlord doing that, they're like, oh, I should, that's, I should consider doing that. <laughs> yeah. That's so, interesting. let me ask you this question. Uh, do you think that, um, uh, you know, that I, I think there's a lot of, maybe we'll touch on this actually, uh, there's a lot of data that, that talks about how porn actually impacts the uh, the, the actual mental makeup of the mind right? and the earlier that takes place the, the greater impact it has on the developing mind um, but uh, there's this uh, woman here that uh, one of the article that I found with Gail Dines is her name she wrote a book uh, um, and I think it's the book is called uh, the truth about the sex industry and one of the observations that she made was that uh, the part Porn culture uh, doesn't just impact men. It impacts the way that women and girls think about their bodies, uh, their sexuality, and their relationships. And uh, maybe I can ask this in a broader question, not just with porn, all that's a subject, but like you know the all of the uh, the Vanity Fairs, the the cosmopolitans, cosmopolitans yeah. that that say this is the image that is a beautiful woman. Oh yeah, um, and to a more extreme extent with, with porn, right? Yeah. And how that impacts how women think about themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, is that degrading? I don't know that troubling. degrading is the right it's word. Troubling. Right. I mean, um, I definitely remember when I was younger being not super happy with my body, being like, oh, you know, if I was curvier, if I had bigger boobs, like that's, you know, what's supposed to be beautiful, but I don't know, again, it's, it's about that conversation of being real with people, and I think like degrading isn't the right word, and then you, you know stuff like YouTube has been a really good platform for people to be like body positive and be like you know these things. A lot of these are photoshopped. It's not a real expectation. So I don't even know if the word degrading even even fits oh, into it's that. Just misleading. Misleading, maybe, yeah. Ooh, so hot, I got the vapors. They're bringing the heat. Better stick around and see what's gonna happen next. How much does it cost you to watch TV? The average household pays between $100 and $150 every month. Finally fed up with the rising cost of cable and satellite? Cut the cord and start watching the channels you want at a fraction of the cost. With iXQ TV, you'll have access to thousands of live TV channels, including sports, movies, news, premium networks, kids' channels, and even local channels for as low as $39 a month. Stream in HD on your TV, tablet, phone, or even computer with multiple devices streaming at the same time. iXQ TV requires no contracts or credit checks, no installation or cancellation fees, no bogus surcharges or hidden fees. $39 a month means $39 a month. Say goodbye to high cable bills forever. Visit MyCableBillStinks.com today. The, the same gal uh, that wrote this article, uh, Gail, I'm trying to remember her name, Gail Dines, um, she, she said in, th in studying thousands of porn films, and I'm going to have to be careful how I <laughs> read it, um, 
Because it gets pretty graphic. Studying, huh? uh, in in like studying it. thousands of porn films and images, uh, she found that the most popular acts depicted, and it and it goes into some a pretty uh, graphic thing, right? Yeah, uh, stuff not suitable for TV. Uh, go to our group. Uh, <laughs> that the most common and most popular are are multiple people, uh, you know, with one woman. Right. Um, oh. And. Uh, yeah, and that these are the most common searches. And um, I, I read something completely different. And um, <laughs> that it involves, I don't know how to say this, yeah, it's such a horrible word. The, the, our production crew is over here just dying laughing because they're like, you're not going to say this. Uh, featuring like female gagging. Uh, <laughs> I always uh, say it. Yeah. Oh. Um, and, and, and yeah, and, that, and that's as much as I'll leave it at. Um, but you can look at the making, article. I mean, yeah. 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 We're so it's in the right article. Here. Yeah, it's in the article. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll have a link. Yeah. And so and <laughs> and to 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 say that over time, what has become the norm or common has become more the more and more extreme, right? And that what was considered hardcore porn is now normal. Is now normal. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Yeah. Because you get desensitized. Well, that's, I mean, it's like that's the human condition. <laughs> it's like with anything. I mean, but is that uh, to keep it? I'm trying to keep it in topic, and, yeah. and then you know to uh, to right, bring right. it in. Is it, if if we have an escalating norm of of that of hardcore, mm -hmm. the hardcore today's hardcore will be tomorrow's softcore. Right. Um, you know, and and for that matter, mainstream TV shows. I mean, like yeah, you can you can go into. Uh, a Game of Thrones. I'm like, there, there were scenes in Game of Thrones. I mean, I, I, I asked my wife to skip. Any, I, I don't, I don't want to watch this any with my. Censorship in yeah. any fashion is what we're talking about at that level because you couldn't say, you know, PG-13. Now you can say the F word one time. You know, like yeah. before you couldn't do that. You know? So you if the one. constant state is this, I mean, where now it's like the the most searched for, the most norm is, you know, multiple guys and and. and <laughs> Society's going the, weird direction. The female <laughs> gagging to all this stuff, right? Uh, well, also, not everybody watches porn. Some of the people who do watch porn are just right? escalating. Right. Like, so, you know, I mean, you know, a lot of people. You sure don't. not everybody watches? <laughs> no, I'm sure. I would probably call someone out. Oh, well, I mean, yes, if they told yeah. me they did. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely know people that don't yeah. watch porn. Really? It's yeah. just the people yeah. that do Man. are wanting more and more. Like, you know, yeah. well, you want to be wowed, I guess. Like, like, <laughs> you want to be wowed. Uh, if you no, see I mean, I get that, but I'm like, again, wow. Like, I want to be impressed. Yeah, yeah, you do. I want to be impressed. <laughs> Even with a film that's not porn. I mean, not to get off topic, but I mean, yeah, you get desensitized. You want. Oh, I didn't. Uh, if if there's this constant escalation in that way, does that not lend itself to more? Degradation of the the female. It creates a demand for it. Mm -hmm. I'd say it depends on how. The female so are you gonna use it? Supply. And I would say that if it's consensual and the female is doing it for the male in a I mean in a video or not, right? The purpose of that is to control the male's desire hmm. and therefore gaining power. By as a controlling woman, your desire. Controlling their de desire by being degraded? Well, if my desire is to degrade you, and now you are acting in the sense that I'm being degraded, you are giving me what I desire. And you have the power. Because I'm now at your, I'm now, oh yes, I want to do this. Now I'm, gonna, I'm coming to you now. Does that make sense? I mean, I, it's kind of where yeah, I'm at with it. Yeah. It's just like any other thing. I mean, but then that, that you could say a woman holds the power by like really either not having sex with you right. or All having sex with you. Like that could be a way of holding power too. It doesn't I absolutely do. I think sex, that I the I mean uh, men do too, but I think that the person who's doing it it holds the power, even if it, you think it's degrading. If they're doing it, they're doing it. Doing power, it. If they're doing it consensually, they do hold. Yeah, power. right. It's if it's now if it's forced, you know that's right. Right. that's right. not right. that's that's the man taking power, which is that's the problem. Is people see the the act of acting, right. you know, like I'm being, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm being degraded, they think that that's normal for them to go degrade women now, and they, that they'll like it, but not every woman likes that. Right. But that's yeah. where it gets into, like, just everybody talking about these kinds of things, like, making sure that you understand, like, that young women and men understand that it's 
important to talk to your partner about what, what they yeah, want, what they don't want, what they're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what consent is all about. That's what about uh, two people having an enjoyable sexual experience is about. I completely agree. Yeah, for sure. So uh, on the the science side, where and this was also mentioned in the article, um, but and I've read this before. Uh, I, I didn't know the part about uh, the younger this occurs. So the the average age of viewership of porn keeps coming down, uh, which you know, the age at which people are watching, watching it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the average age for a boy to first see porn now is 11. But the problem in the average age coming down is that the developmental stages of the mind, uh, and and the mind uh, is still in stages of development, and it's been shown that. Uh, that greater degrees of, of watching porn cause an inability to connect with the opposite sex, right? Yeah, and, and, and yeah, and and even then beyond that, that the more it progresses, that that they will actually prefer porn over actual mm -hmm. sexual yeah, interaction with true. other humans. Maybe we should talk so, about sex class, <laughs> you know. If it's a real thing and it's really, I know it's like kind of shunned to talk about porn, but if that's like a real thing that is inhibiting young men, when it you're is. talking about everything else in sex ed, maybe that's something that needs to be brought up. If it's yeah. something that, which I mean, I, this wouldn't be really like, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to tie it back to the subject to say, yeah, yeah, if we tolerate right this as a society, so to speak, and we say this is perfectly fine, yet we have science and data that shows it creates an inability for men to connect and have an actual, you know, so any women kind of are real relationship. controlling men not to be able to connect because it's the women in the pornography consensually making videos that will change. Well, did it say men. what kind of pornography they're watching? Right? Are they watching the degrading towards women pornography? Right. Or is it just I mean, that, to me, yeah, it's two yeah like that right, because you know, or more. Right, I, to me, that's but that, okay. that's <laughs> it's apparently to me that that you. powers the woman. That the woman has the power. It's not empowering. They already have it. You don't have to give it to them because they're the one affecting the whole thing. If that makes sense. If, well, this is a, a really interesting topic. We could probably go a lot longer on this subject. We probably and, will. And the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the group page is having uh, this conversation 24/7. So yes, hop in there. This is a topic that's been discussed in in the group. Uh, if you hop on our Facebook page, make sure you go over to artofdispute.com. We have all of our links to find our groups and. Uh, our YouTube channels and all that stuff to where you can look at everything. So just well, artist views. Links will be links will be there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, there we have it. Another show in the can, as they say. We'll see you guys next week. We're out. But first, we're gonna listen to some music. And will you announce it for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you got me. All right. Uh, we're, we're gonna have a performance by Rachel here and Alex, and uh, you guys tell us what you're about to play and where we can find it. Hey, I'm Rachel Winters, and we're about to sing an original called I Don't Mind. You can find it on YouTube if you search Rachel Winters, R-A-Y-C-H-E-A-L. Every day I'm shining bright on the diamond You're cold can't let you go Is that I'm dying and found a way to Try to go inside, but it's a dream you're living in. It's your dream. I'm dying. I don't mind. No, I don't mind. I don't mind.
of smoke in your life cigarette on my new bed spread I don't mind oh, I don't Clapping right now. 